Happy Tuesday. Thanks for joining us. We're going to get started here in just a second. Hope everyone's having a great day. the super chat kd9vnc vnc are you a linux guy <laughs> thanks for being here guys appreciate everybody out there we're going to talk about amazon prime big deals day amazon prime big deals day i'm not sure how these magnets got on my desk but i got to be careful with that uh so amazon as far as i know this is the first time they have done a big deals day in October, at, oh well, anytime actually. Uh, Amazon Prime is those of you who have Amazon Prime, you you should know what Amazon Prime is. It is a service that gives you free shipping on most items, and uh, discounts on some items, and uh, a bunch of movies for free as well. They have a streaming service like Netflix. So I've had Amazon Prime for years, but we do a Prime Day. They do a Prime Day big sale about. Once or twice, they were doing it once a year. I think they did it twice last year. And um, they might have done it twice this year. I don't remember if they did it once or twice this year. But uh, usually it's just called Prime Day. This one's actually called Prime Big Deals Day. So we're going to see some big deals today, I guess. And I'm not talking about... I'm not talking about big deal people who are, you know, influential on YouTube. That's not what I mean. I mean, big discounts day. That's what they should have it here. So <laughs> special shout out to everyone in the chat in green text, YouTube channel members. Thank you for being here. I see Chuck, KD9VNC, who gave a super chat earlier. Appreciate that. Andy Cowley's in the house. And somebody said Andy is a bot or Andy is Skynet earlier. And yes, I would, I would agree with that. Andy is probably Skynet. Let's see, um, Ed AC3IK is in the chat, John KC4LZN, Tom WB7OUT, appreciate you guys being here today. I see Steve KO4AFL is in the chat too, he's going to help moderate today, he's got that um, blue text, so blue text is moderators in the chat. So this is their second Prime Day in the UK for the year, yeah, so they did one called Prime Day back in was it july july august they did a prime day and um and then um today is prime big deals day so they kind of they either renamed it that this is this may be their second prime day and they called it something different because they want to confuse people maybe that's it i don't know i didn't uh, i didn't i didn't study it i just know that there's big deals going on today so we're going to talk about that so once again thank you to everybody for being here I do want to give a special shout out to EcoFlow, and I'm going to share that text in the chat once again. Fall savings, EcoFlow, save up to 58% during the EcoFlow fall sales promo. Get an exceptional Amazon deal of the day offers on October 10th and 11th, today, tomorrow. Use the code EFPFHAMR. So that's me. That's a code they gave me, HAMR, Ham Radio. Uh, for you guys, for my viewers. So, to get an extra 5% off of all deals except flash sale products, offer good until the 15th. So, it's not just today and tomorrow. Offer is good until the 15th on their website and on the Amazon website. So, I will put all of this along with all of the links in the description below for those of you watching watching on Team Replay if y'all want to click on links again. And I need to say this for um, uh, for for transparency's sake. Amazon is an affiliate program for me. I get commissions on certain items. And when you buy items, you don't see a difference. If you go buy a radio for, uh, say you go buy a Baofeng for 25 bucks, it's going to be 25 bucks for you whether you click on my link or whether you just go to Amazon and find it on your own. So commissions are paid on some items, not all items, and I get commissions on that. So that's why we're doing that today. It does help grow the channel and support it and move it forward. So I appreciate you guys using my links where you can. So... I spun this up yesterday, maybe the day before. Here's the EcoFlow stuff that I mentioned earlier. This is their uh, Amazon store page. In fact, I'll go ahead and drop that in the 
in the link in the um, chat right now. Actually, no, let's let's get a shorter link than that. That's a terrible link. So let's drop that in the chat right now. And uh, you guys are going to be seeing some cool eco, some cool videos for EcoFlow products coming up next month at the hunting lease. I've got one of their heater air conditioner units. I've got uh, a couple of their battery units. I'm going to try to run my whole RV trailer on it, and uh, should be some for some fun videos on that. So special thanks to EcoFlow for giving me the discount code. They didn't pay me for that or anything. They're not sponsoring the video, but they did send me some discount stuff or discount codes that they wanted me to share with you guys. So appreciate uh, their support. All right, so Amazon, big prime, big deals day. This is my Amazon store, if you click right here. And if you scroll down, I created this prime, big deals day 2023, what they call an idea list, and that's this right there. And anything you pick on, you click on inside of there, uh, the cookie lasts for 24 hours, and I get credit for any sales you might uh, purchase within the next 24 hours after clicking on my link. So once again, thank you for... Uh, the support in that way. What are the deals for antenna wire power poles or less expensive alternate power pole crimpers? Thanks. Where are they? You know, I was going to talk about that. I was going to talk about that. So good question. Good question. So what you want to do, if you don't want to, okay, if you don't, I was making sure I was <laughs> making sure all my stuff was on. Uh, if you don't want to, if you don't want to use my links for whatever reason, you know, that's okay. If you click here at the top, you guys can't see the pop-up because the way that the browser capture is working. But right here where I search Amazon, right next to it, it says all. If you click on all, the very first drop down is Prime Deal Days. And you can see that on the screen right now. It's probably kind of small, but you can see that on the screen right now. And you can search for whatever you want to. So since Tom's in there asking about antenna wire power poles, we're going to search for that antenna wire. I don't know if Amazon will know what antenna wire is. Some car stereo stuff. Bing Fu Wi-Fi antenna. There you go. Bing Fu. Bing Fu is some name that I've seen on Amazon a bunch and recognize. I don't know if it's any good or not, but I've seen it there before. So antenna wire. They're going to talk about um, you know Wi-Fi antennas, car stereo antennas, and whatnot. Uh, we can search for radio antenna wire. I did a search for ham radio earlier. It brought up a bunch of Baofeng stuff, that kind of thing. Baofeng uh, TID radio. I put those in my idea list, the link that I just shared with you a minute ago in the chat. So not bad, you know, antenna is kind of a, like right there is a scanner radio, CB, VHF, CB radio, VHF, UHF, ham radio. And it's actually just a BNC connector on either end with a, with a coax in the middle. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, Amazon searches can get kind of weird. But let's search for power poles. It knows what those are. Power poles. There we go. Okay. Uh, that's not the kind of pole we were looking for there. Let's see. Power poles. Here we go. Okay. Bullvac. Anderson power pole copies, not the actual thing. 15, 30, and 45 amp connectors, 10 to 20 gauge. And you get uh, three different size. Con the, the these these inserts, these silver inserts in the middle, are what determine whether they're a 10, 30, or 45 amp, because it depends on the size of wire they go around. And then, of course, you get a bunch of these black and black and red connectors. So I'm going to add that to the idea list here. I will say that I have bought some. I have bought some um, off-brand stuff from Amazon. And about once every 10, I find a bad one. So once every 10, finding a bad one once every 10, eh, not a big deal. If you want to buy the Anderson stuff, it is better quality. It will last you longer. But the cheap stuff seems to work just fine. If you find one out of every 10 that doesn't fit, you're probably still ahead money-wise. So that's just my been my experience. If anyone has a different... Uh, Diff different uh, experience than that, let me know. I found this er earlier. This is pretty cool. This is in my idea list, the link that I just shared. In fact, let me pin this idea list to the top of the chat. Pin that right there. Okay, so that's pinned to the top of the chat. You can always go to the top of the chat and find the idea list, the one that we're talking about today. This is pretty cool. It's a uh, ham radio crib notes <laughs> is what they call this. It's pretty fun. So it's got your HF and VHF bands down the side there. This is one of those tin, those metal signs that you, you kind of like old old uh, style, old old school looking metal signs. 
that you would hang in a ham shack or maybe in a garage, something like that. So ham radio crib notes, that's a phonetic alphabet, Morse code, symbols, international ITU, and punctuation. So and all the Q the Q codes right there too, the most popular ones. Anyway, that's not all of them, but that's probably the most popular ones. So that's pretty cool. Fifteen bucks for that, twenty percent off today. That's that's pretty slick. I uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna order that and put it up in the hand shack here. <laughs> There's that right there. AA7 Whiskey India. Let me see. Find your comment there so I can highlight it. AA7 Whiskey India says that he is at. Where did that go? How come I can't see that? Top, 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 top. Okay, I can't see your. For some reason, your your uh, your your comment is not showing up in my in my plugin. AA Seven Whiskey uh, Whiskey India Mike is at Kilo zero zero six zero on twenty eight point oh seven four FT eight ten meter FT eight. If anyone wants to try AA Seven Whiskey India, so if anyone's out there on ten meter FT eight, uh, give him a shout. So thanks for uh thanks for sharing, dude. Always fun to work people on Poda. Oh, John says his wife bought that for his birthday. Bought that sign for him for his birthday. That's cool. <laughs> Good deal. All right. So, yeah. So, that's uh, that's in there. And I added that. And this is where the idea list is. The This is a couple of, you know, I, I, I found this stuff by searching for, mostly by searching for ham radio. They have the Aliens HD1 for 20% off today. That's in the idea list. They have, this TID radio here is cool because it's see-through. It's got a, it's got a see-through case on it. I thought that was pretty neat. 10-watt second version. I've got one of these. It's the black one. It's not the clear one. And I think it's their second version. It might be their third version. I don't know. They've sent me two or three of these because they keep making updates to it. They keep taking feedback and saying, okay, check this, check this. Let us know what you think. Send them feedback. Then they'll come out with a new version, which is really cool. It's a really good thing for TID Radio to do, honestly because they're taking feedback from their audience. So I always thought that was that was pretty cool. The first version was kind of rough, but they've made some good improvements to it since then. 10 watts, second version. 20% um, off with the Prime Big Day deal, but apply a 5% additional coupon right there. So that's fun. Might be a good uh, handheld for you. There's the black version there, second generation. Uh, UV5R Bailfang. UV5R Upgraded. And then it says UVS9. I think that's actually a UVS9. It says Balefang UV5R upgraded in the title. I think that's to get you to click on it, which I did, which I clicked on it. So congratulations, it worked. Uh, but I think this is a UVS9 plus 8-watt long-range talkie there. So that's you need a Balefang to take out into the field and leave with you. These right here, I bought these myself just the other day. I got them in the mail yesterday. And I'm going to put, you need two of these to go into the back of a TS-480 HX 200 watt HF mobile radio, which is the radio I have in my um, truck right now. It's been a long, slow process to get all of that up and running. But you need two of these, and I bought two of them, because uh, it has the radio actually has two connectors in the back, because it's a 200 watt version. So we're going to see how well those work. And then someone the other day, yesterday, was asking me about what solar charge controller I recommend for a uh, something that would take more than like 100, 150 watts. He was looking for something that would take, I think, two or 300 watts. This one will take up to 400 watts, 300 watts, something like that. Uh, I don't know. It says in here somewhere. This one will take at least 300 watts, if not 400. I have plugged my 300-watt solar panel, my, my gigapart solar panel, into this numerous times this is the one that i keep in the truck most of the time it is a p a pwm and not an mppt solar charge controller but for the purposes i use it for it's fine it's fine it's not going to do as good as an mppt solar charge controller but for what it is it's just fine so th it, it is a 30 amp controller which i think is like 400 watts so um either way it'll work for lipo 4 it'll work for lithium sealed gel all other kinds <coughs> i got a frog in my throat Oh, that's good. Thank you, Steve. Steve reposted that comment and uh, the one I couldn't see for whatever reason. So, KA9EES, you have a 480HS in the truck too. Cool. Tell me what antenna you're running with it. I'm going to put my I'm going to put my um Tar Heel behind it eventually. I'm actually going to I'm actually working on a couple of 
HF antennas on the truck. Have you tried the bougie solar panels and controller? So yes, I have. Uh, I've tried the controller. They sent me one of those. I probably am going to end up installing that in my RV. If my RV does not fall apart on a road trip first, one of these days. Yeah, yeah, there's more, even more news. Even more news for the Forest River. <laughs> I recorded a video yesterday. It's being edited right now. So, yeah, go check out my Unplugged channel. So a couple of people have emailed me after the live stream I did a couple of weeks ago and asked me what my Overland slash RV channel was. And that is right here. So, in case you guys aren't subscribed over there, go check that out. But yeah, I do have that. I haven't done a video with it yet. I have their solar charge controller. It seems to be... It, it works fine. I have not tested it for RFI yet. So, yeah, th we're gonna we're working on that. I'm. It's one of those things on the list of things to do if I can ever get my RV to stop falling apart. So... Let's see. Okay, reading the chat as much as I can. Looking for Red Odo Battery Explorer Case... Trouble finding one that fixed ideas. Ex Explore case. Okay, so Red Odo is doing their sale again. Let's just go ahead and go back over. Well, uh, that's my, okay, that's my, let's keep that there. Let's do Red Odo. No, come on. I hate the way that Chrome does that now. So I had a Red Odo link in my, uh, email that went out today, and that links to their website, and they give discounts to you on their website with my code that I sent out on email. I think the code is... Oh, gosh. I, I have to go look it up. I can't remember what the... I've got too many codes. But Red Odo has stuff on Amazon, and they're participating in this uh, this sale today also. This says lowest price in 30 days, 21% off of this 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate with uh, built-in BMS I've had really good luck with these guys. They've sent me two or three of their batteries. I've done two, two or three videos. I've got one other video I'm working on. They sent me one of their battery boxes, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. I don't know if they have that on Amazon or not. But I have one of their 50 amp hours, and that's in the, the 50 amp hour battery box that I have that in is one of the ones that I take with me constantly when I go on. on I, I pretty much leave that in the RV. I bring it in and charge it when I'm not on the road, but when I'm on the road, that, that stays in the RV. If I'm between trips, but I'm about to go on another trip, it stays in the RV. Um, but I've been real happy with uh, with that. Um, yeah, there it is right there. Okay, so they sent me this. Ooh, look at that. 79 bucks. It's 20% off. That's cool. So they sent me this box. It's neat. This is a lot like the auto dunk box. That's just what they called it. I don't know why. It's, just, it's a dumb name. But this is a lot like the same size box, except it's blue um, right there. The ports on it, I'm not a huge fan of the ports on it. It's got um, one USB, USB A 3.0, two cigarette lighter sockets. Why do you need two cigarette lighter sockets? I don't know. Does not have any power poles, but the auto dunk box also didn't have any power poles. So you can change your own stuff out and put your own stuff in it. I really like this. It has a snap lock. If you remember the lad, the auto dunk box that I reviewed had a strap that went around it, and the only way to get that strap to tighten down and actually hold was to turn the strap upside down, basically turn it inside out, and bolt it to where it looks like it's upside down. And that does hold. I don't know why, but that it, it's weird that way. Because I get, I get comments on that video still saying, this strap that comes with this thing doesn't hold, and I'm like, turn it around, turn, turn it upside down, and it will hold. But this one has actual locking mechanism on the side over there. Fixed buckles, it calls it right there. There's one on each side, one there, and one there. And it holds the lid down without having to have the stupid strap around it. I think it comes with a strap, but I don't think I used... I think, I think mine is... I don't, I, don't, I don't think I've even put it on. Um, so it's probably, probably a good idea to put the strap on for extra safety. But it has these buckles on it, so I really like that. So this is a cool battery box. This is a really cool battery box. I like the fact... It, I think... I think it will hold their 100 amp hour mini battery. That's what I'm hoping to do with it. I've tested a couple other batteries in it and just just to see how it works. But uh, but long list of uh, long list of things I'm working on videos for. Excuse me. But uh, that will yeah that's uh, that's on sale right now. 20 percent off. I put the link in the chat just now. I will add that to the list as well because Red Oda has been very 
supportive of the channel. They email me about once a month saying, "Hey, how's it going? What can we do?" And they have they have a they have what they call a smart battery. And I said, "Okay, well, what makes it smart? Basically, it's got a button you can turn it off and on with." And I'm like, "Well, that's cool, but if you have a smart battery, a lot of times people think it has Bluetooth. So, do you have anything with Bluetooth?" And they're like, "No, we don't. Should we work on that?" And I'm like, "Yeah, work on a Bluetooth battery. It'd be fun." So I, I like being able to monitor my battery systems and my solar charge controllers with um, Bluetooth monitoring software for my phone or wherever. So James KI five O E B, uh, thanks for being here, man. I see that you're listening and painting, but uh, that's cool. Thanks for being here. So okay, we'll add that in there, and then we will go. Wonder, but uh, oh, it was a two pack, huh? Here's the 100 Mini. It doesn't look like that one's on. Well, it says it's on a 17% off sale right now, but it's not. It doesn't have the Prime Big Deal Days tag on it. But this one here, I think, is the one that's going to fit in that battery box. So we'll see. We'll see what's uh, what's up with that later on. Okay. So I talked about EcoFlow earlier. You guys, let me know in the chat what other items you would l want me to. Uh, to look at. All right, this is that River 2 Pro. 27% off. Apply a $40 additional coupon right now. This thing is cool. This is 768 watt hours. This is basically the largest power station you can get that's sub one kilowatt. It's lightweight. It's small and portable. I've, I used it at the Belton Ham Expo last weekend to run my Starlink. It ran the Starlink for just about all day. I also used it to run the Starlink at the um, at Quartzfest last January. So I've been pretty happy with this power station. It does produce a little bit of RFI, but if you just kind of separate it away from the radio, you don't really notice it much. It's not very bad at all. Uh, most inverter, and if you turn off the AC inverter and just use the USB portion of it, it doesn't have any RFI. So most of your AC inverters are going to have some sort of RFI somewhere. So let's see. Okay, this is, uh, this is the Delta II, and they sent me one of these as well. This is really cool. But this is almost, this is like the beginning of a home battery backup system. You can add additional batteries to this um, additional 2 kilowatt. Well, it has a 3 kilowatt battery there now. Interesting. It's about 2 kilowatts by itself, so you can add a 2 kilowatt battery to it. You can add up to 2 batteries to it, and you can do a 2, two, two kilowatts to make the whole system a 6 kilowatt. That's kind of fun. I mean, that would, that would definitely run your ham shack. And what I want to do this year is have that system. I only have one extra battery for it, so mine's about 4 kilowatts. I want to have that system run my entire RV trailer while I'm at the opening, while I'm at the hunting lease on the opening weekend because it'll be cold enough where I don't need to run the air conditioner because that probably won't run my air conditioner in the trailer, but it'll probably run everything else. Run all my lights, run my water pump, run my, um, it'll charge the battery. It'll run uh, all the charging stuff that I plug in. Um, it, I plug my laptop in. It'll charge all that. So I think that that will run just about everything. And I'm looking forward to making a video and checking that out. How long will it run the FT891? James, which, uh, which one are you talking about? Because I've talked about several things. So, okay, good question, Todd. Any Mezzi and Palomi deals going on? Probably not. Uh, they don't sell on Amazon, but I'm glad you asked that question because let me find something for you guys real quick. Let's see. I got to dig through my email. I, I should have saved this, but I didn't. Um... Uh, I will, I'll, I'll talk about that here in a minute. Oh, maybe he texted it to me. Okay, let me find, um, the sub one. How long will it run the FT891? Okay, so I, those power stations don't have direct DC output, direct power pole outputs. They have cigarette lighter adapter output, and they have, um, like, the barrel connector you see on Bioeno chargers. Okay, they have that type. So I haven't actually tried to run a radio directly from a battery like that. But you know what? I get asked that question all the time. Good question. 
I, I mean, I, I'd rather just take a bat. It seems like it seems like overkill to bring that out because it's got that all that AC um, inverter stuff built into it. I, I don't know. I don't know how long it would run. But if you can't, if you consider 768 watt hours and you do the math into 12 volts, it'll show you that much amp hours of battery, and that should answer your question. I can't math in my head right now, but um, but that should answer the question. But you know what? A lot of people ask me that, and I never have a good answer for it because I've never tried it. So I think you've given me an idea for a new video, honestly, because I'm like, let's try to run this and see if it has any type of um. It, if it'll run the radio, if it has any type of noise, if it has, you know, anything at all. So I, I think that I, I will want to try that. Okay, I found the link I'm looking for. Let me copy it to myself r real quick. I thought he'd emailed me that to me, but he did not. He texted it to me. Okay, right, right there. I got. I just got my order from M and P. Lots of goodies, including the new Podoflex. Good, good. Yes, agreed, Leon. These things are great tools, but they're noisy. Uh, the DC cigarette I plug being noisy is dependent on. I I have some power stations that are, and some are not. So it depends on what brand you're talking about and which one you're talking about. That kind of thing, in my opinion. All right, let's get. Uh, let me re come on, refresh. There you go. All right, let's grab that. Wrong one. Okay, here we go. Boom. HR2 cables. A brand new 10% discount code on the Gigaparts website for everything Mezzi and Plomy and for ABR. So, and, and you can get ABR 10% uh, disc, discount on uh, on ABR Coax as well from their website. Uh, ABR10 KC5HWB is my discount there. But here I'm going to share this uh, this link. This is an ugly link. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll make a short link for this later. But right there, if yeah, ten percent off of Mezzi and Plumy, and that's a that's a that's a permanent deal. That's not a Prime Day deal. That's not a special here today gone tomorrow deal. That's a pri that's a that's a permanent deal that Gigaparts has done for me for Mezzi and Plumy and ABR Coax. Ten percent off of everything on that page if you use the uh, coupon code HR Two Cables. So there you go. So answer the Mezzi and Plumy question. Thank you for that. All right. Solar home backup. I'm, I'm reading through the chat here, guys. Hey, uh, Izzo. Good morning, sir. How are you? Or good afternoon, I guess it is. Well, for you, it, no, for you, it's afternoon. You're an hour ahead of me. So. This show likes to take my money. <laughs> Came for ACK, did a, did a video about a battery. Uh, I think yesterday, I think he, I don't know, I got his email this morning, I don't remember when he posted it, but I, I replied, I put a comment on his video, and I said, um, I said, hey, you just did another video, like, two weeks ago about another battery, and I bought that, I'm like, so, now I have to buy this one? You're a jerk. <laughs> and he la he replied, laughed at it, <laughs> so, it's fun, we like to tease each other as, as YouTube, per as YouTube friends, so, there we go, all right, so let's get back to this. EcoFlow, I got that one in there. I really like those Delta Two Max um, units. I really like those. They've, they've, the, the one that I have has worked out well. They did send it to me. They did send it to me. So you know, uh, f full transparency on that. But if I was going to buy one, I'd probably buy that one because, well, I, it's not the only one I use. It's the second one I've, I've I used another off-brand one one time that was about that big that that was it was terrible, but um, I didn't even do a video on that one. But uh, but the EcoFlow stuff has been good. So this right here is their Wave Two portable air conditioner unit with heater. So it's got two. This port right here is that uh, blows out cold air, and this port right here on the top blows out hot air. So you put vents on it. It comes with these vent tubes. And you put vents on it, and you can stick it outside of your RV or maybe outside of your ham shack or maybe outside of your tent, and you can pipe the uh, the vent that you want. You can pipe the cool vent into the tent, or you can pipe the, the heater vent into the tent, and then it just blows the other direction outside, and, it, and nobody cares. So, you, so it'll blow cool air outside during the winter and hot air outside during the summer, and then you take the hotter, cool air and blow it inside the tent. So it, where it's kind of multi-purpose that way. 
I used this a little bit at the Belt and Ham Expo last weekend. It worked fine. Uh, what I want to do is put a dryer vent on the back of my deer stand at the hunting lease this year and pipe the warm air from this into my, my, my deer stand because this thing runs on a battery and you can put a solar panel on it. So I'm going to be really, really, really roughing it at the hunting lease this year when I have this thing piping heat into my deer stand. I want to try it and see how it works. I want to try it and see how it works. It's pretty quiet, so it's not uh, not that big of a deal, but it, it works well. Uh, N5SKT got one of these uh, recently, and he likes it too, so we'll put that in there. All right, good. Um, Robert, great question. Let's look at GMRS. Okay. There's the TID radio, H8 GMRS2, Baofeng UV5G. That's a they they're for this prime big de big deal days, they seem to be pushing these two packs quite a bit. I don't know. There's the radiodity. That's a mobile radio, 25 watts, 15% off. Okay. We'll put that one in there. Uh, that TID radio, we'll put that one in there too. I th actually, I think that one's already, I already have that one in there. Well, I don't remember if I have that one in there or not. Let me put it in there. I have an H8, but I, it might be for different, do they make those in different bands or are they just full up and transmit? They might be full up and transmit and they're not supposed to do that, but they do it all the time anyway. I don't care. Whatever. There's a, uh, there's a two pack of the transparent ones. There's the talk pod radio. There's the Red of us RA25. That's a pretty decent radio. That's a nice, small, and compact radio. If you want to put it in a Jeep or a small pickup truck or something like that, that's a good, uh, good one there. There's your... Uh, that's their full duplex radio base station, their repeater kit. Ooh, that's a cool-looking radio. Oh, you know what? I think... Is that... Uh, what is that? What model is that? I think they might have sent me one of those just recently. I'm going to put that in there. That's a base station. I'm sorry, not a base station. That's a repeater with two radios. So you hand your radio to your to your friend with a license or to your family member that's licensed under your license. Yeah. RT, RB17 Papa. Interesting. That's a cool looking radio though, man. I like the screen on that radio. That's really neat. That's really neat. Really neat. I'll put that in there as well. Okay, a lot of GMRS stuff in there. Don't fall asleep while you're warming cozy. Yeah, that's that's happened before actually. Uh Yeah, okay. All right, just watching the chat here. So a lot of GMRS stuff in there. You see this prime big deal day, big red banner above all this stuff. And again, you can search inside of the prime big deals days header up there at the top. So it'll give you all kinds of stuff on that. Uh, let's see what's on page two, just for the heck of it. There, okay, good. Uh, just more of the same stuff, really. Second gen TID radio, GT five R. I'm not familiar with that one. Looks like a UV five R. Okay. All right, some GMRS stuff there. All right, let's see what else we got. Um, I'm just gonna search ham radio again. Again, I I did this earlier before the stream started, and it's basically bringing up a bunch of Balfangs. This TID radio. Like the first page is just all Baofangs and TID radios. Oh, there's a Bing Fu magnet, magnetic mount little antenna. That there. The heck is that? Outdoor digital amplifier HDTV antenna. <laughs> that comes up under a search for ham radio. Okay. All right. All right. We're good. <laughs> uh, there's a Radiodity AT10G DMR. I don't like this one because it's monoband. It is UHF only. Now, if all the DMR you do is on a hotspot, and your hotspot's UHF, or dual band, dual band hotspot, then this might be all you need, honestly. And it's a good 100, 
100 or so dollars cheaper, $150 cheaper than its Anytone counterpart, which is dual band, which is one of my favorite radios. So it does GP, it does true APRS, but it's on UHF. So like, really, who cares? Uh, unless you've got a Digipeter or an iGate in your area that's repeating... U at APRS traffic on UHF. You can the 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 normal standard APRS frequency is 144.39 megahertz in the VHF band, but you could put an I gate or Digipeter on any frequency you want to. I mean, within reason. You're not you're supposed to put it in the digital section of the band, but you can put it on any band you want to. You can put it on 220. I knew a guy one time that had a 221, and it reached out really far because the noise floor on 220 is so low. I mean, basically, he was the only one using it, but he would use it and then beacon 220 APRS from his truck and back to his house, and he's, he was always in, in the, the network. So, yeah, so if that's all you want to use, then you could save a lot of money. It's only $135 as compared to any tone that's like 314 right now for their the only model they currently make. Now, you can get the older models in used or maybe refurbished condition, but so it really depends on what you're trying to do. Um, but I, I just, I thought it was a little bit lame that they made that UHF only, but that's just my opinion. If that's all you need, then there's nothing in the world wrong with it. Let's see. Up here. I just spent 800 bucks on a G90 antenna, LiPo 4 battery charger, solar panels. Curse you, Amazon. <laughs> Welcome to my world, friend. Uh, oh, look at this. Here's this wireless controller. 29% off. Okay, you plug this. It's got a standard K connector. You plug it into the side of the radio, and you download their app, their TID radio app. So, you know, if you don't want to do that, this might not be for you. But then you can program all these radios from one app on your phone. It's pretty cool. Mike did a video on this a while back. I thought that was pretty cool. I never grabbed one, but I, I thought it was a good, uh, good concept. And you have given me, Mr. Uh, KB8STG, you have given me a great idea. I want to know how much they're getting for the G90, and the other Zygu stuff. Boom. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Whoa, what is that? PQIPQ? That's not a word. It almost looks like two eyes in the middle of... Looks like the eyes and nose, and the, and the Q's are... The Q's are eyeballs, and the P's are ears. I don't know. <laughs> That's just how... Maybe I've been playing video games too long. But that's pretty slick. 50 bucks. I mean, it's just a it's just a hard case with the thing cut out specifically for that, which is cool. I mean, 50 bucks for a case that size is pretty standard, honestly. Huh, that's neat. I'd seen that before. Be nice if it had some external ports and connections on it. But that's kind of cool. Okay, let's go back to the Zygu stuff. Hands there, 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 uh, ATU 100. Okay, there's the 6100 and the G90. Neither one of those are marked. Neither one of those are marked for prime big day deals, unfortunately. Now, 399 is not a terrible price for the G90. I have seen it down at like 349, 379, Black Friday and on Prime Day before. And as someone mentioned in the beginning, I know Hayden did a stream earlier this morning uh, with some stuff. But these deals recycle throughout the day. So if you go to the main Prime De Big Deals Days page, it has sometimes it even has countdown timers on it. Like you've got two hours left to get this deal, and then some other deal will pop up. So it's possible since this deal, this uh, this sale goes for two days until the end of the day tomorrow, it's possible that these two could pop up on there at some point in time. So I would say keep watching that if you're serious about wanting one of these radios. But um, there's that. That ATU one, ATU one hundred tiny version, ATU ten QRP automatic antenna tuner. Okay, that's cool. If you've got like a like an older QRP radio, I guess something without a built-in tuner. Uh, the G ninety and the sixty one hundred have built-in tuners, so you don't need it for that. But okay, that's cool. That, that was a cool box there. Okay. Um, I saw something. Suggestions on CB radio. CB radio for truck mount. Any with the remote head. Suggestions. Oh, you're talking about the radio with a remote uh, CB with a remote head. I don't know if I, I've ever seen. Well, I mean, I'm sure it exists. 
I can't tell you off the top of my head if I know of a model of CB radio. <laughs> They've got these bow fangs, TID radios for CB. Oh, Amazon Search. Go figure. I don't know if I've ever seen a CB radio with a remote head, but I bet that it does exist. But off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you what it was. Not really finding much. Most of this stuff is handheld stuff, and this isn't even CB. No, I'm not seeing anything that fits that bill. Yeah, that might work for 705, James. Could be. Okay, what else, guys? What else y'all want to look at? So, yeah, nothing on nothing on the G90 right now. CB radio, well, let's, does that have, is that just, oh, that's Cobra's page, okay. No, nothing there. There's, okay, this one, uh, it's their HHRT50 handheld radio. Comes with uh, a ma an external mag mount BNC connector. That's on sale for 24 percent off. I actually picked this up a while back and used it a couple times. I was going to do a video with it, and I just didn't do it. I don't remember why right now. Um, I think I lost the antenna. I think I lost the antenna for it. <laughs> I went. I took it out on a road trip and used it, and just to kind of see what activity was out there. And I'm like, yeah, this is there's a little bit, not much, but it depends on where you are. But uh, yeah, I put that in there. But that's a that's a good. That's twenty twenty four percent off. That's pretty good. Anything for CW-related gear. CW, okay. CW Morse code. The CW way of life. No, come on. Oh, no, okay. It's not... Br oh, there's... Well, that one. It didn't bring up... I've got Prime Deal Day selected up here at the top, but the first few things didn't have that stamp, so that... Uh, yeah, okay. No results for CW Morse code in prime deal days. Okay, so let's search CW key. Let's try that. Uh, okay. I It's giving me this here. Heavy duty CW key automatic Morse code. Shortwave radio. Huh, that's kind of neat looking. Lowest price in 30 days. Has an additional 5% coupon on it right there. Looks like good craftsmanship. I'll put that in there. I, I'm pretty convinced that, that Amazon doesn't actually know what CW is. And if you search Morse code, you get a lot of books about it, and that's about it. I mean, look, it's giving me tools here. I, I, I suppose I could key. Keyboard. CW key, and I, I get a keyboard. Go figure. <laughs> oh, boy. That is, that's okay, though. Yeah, it's got some other stuff. Most of this stuff is not stamped Prime Big Deal Days, so you can search for this stuff, but most of it's not on sale. There's a K9 Outdoors Precision tool set. That's kind of neat. Okay. Cheap tool set. I'm kind of a tool snob. I really like Craftsman tools. And now that Lowe's has picked up that line, I can get pretty much anything craftsman, craftsman that I want again. But they don't make a lot of the, like, uh, what's the what's the good um, what's the good line of? Is it Klein with a K that makes a good line of like electrician screwdrivers and tools and whatnot? I think I, I I really like those as well. All right, so what else? LiPo four batteries, great idea, great idea, Matt. Okay, L I A O four. Boom. Okay. Eco worthy. All right, two hundred and eighty amp hour for five forty two. There's the Eco Flow Delta two. We talked about that already. Doctor Prepare. Hey, there's a name. You should get a Doctor Prepare battery because why not? I mean, that's just that's everything right there. 
It's Dr. Pepper. It's preparedness. It's prepper. That's a that's a that's a hell of a name right there for a battery. <laughs> and it's a hundred amp hour with a BMS for two hundred and twenty bucks. That's friggin' cheap, dude. I don't know. I've never low temp cutoff even. I don't know. Never never heard of that brand. Don't know anything about it. Purchase at your own risk. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh kind of a, a cool name though. Let's see, uh, eco worthy. I see those on here a lot. Uh, Nurmac, I'm not familiar with Nurmac. Let's see, Anker Power Station. Okay, heard of those before. Ooh, what is this? Holy cow, seven hundred ninety-two dollars. What is this? Guai Glong, twelve volt, three hundred amp hour lithium lipo four battery, built in two hundred amp BMS deep cycle. Uh, with uh, 3,840 watt hours energy, 2,560 watt power output, 4,000 charge cycles. Interesting. So the battery's inside there. I wonder if the, I wonder if you can't even open the case for it. I don't think that's worth $800. What do you guys think? 20% off right now is usually 989, and you get an additional $60 coupon on it. Okay, now, now they have one here that's 100 amp hours. Okay, that's a little bit more reasonable. 100 amp hours for 449. That's not a terrible price. $50 off of that. You actually get it for about $400 right now. That's not a terrible price. I'm not familiar with this brand at all. But all right, I'll put this one in there just for the heck of it so I can get back to it later. Twelve volt mini PCs. Tio really likes Dr. Prepare. Okay, good. I haven't seen that. Oh, how about soldering stations and mil spec coax? Okay, let's look for. What did I say? Uh, 12 volt mini PCs. I, I looked at the Evolve Maestro laptop earlier and it is not on sale, or it wasn't earlier. Again, they might. Uh, They might uh, rotate them in at some point. Okay, so these B Link S12s are on sale. 151. These are pretty good. I've I've had some good uh feedback about these uh these B Link PCs. 20% off, 151, normally 189. There you go. Okay, so those are kind of neat. This is here, uh, fanless mini PC Windows 11. It's weird looking. I thought that was a battery bank at first. Huh. Fanless. I wonder how hot it runs. <laughs> I don't know. Microcomputer with full function type C, small desktop, Wi-Fi 6, Ethernet, PXE, unblock, unlock, uh, BIOS, PD Industrial Personal Media. Okay. Windows 11. I'm not too big of a fan of Windows 11. Yet. I haven't I haven't tried Windows 11, but I, ha I have people comment on my videos all the time saying, I can't get this work with Windows 11. I'm like, stop using Windows 11. It's not... I, I didn't start using Windows 10 until it had been out for a year and a half or so. I don't know how long 11's been out. I'll use it eventually, but... they got to get all their driver situations fixed first, in my opinion. So, commercials on your... St oh, did you see a commercial just then? Sorry about that. <laughs> I, I Sometimes I forget. I, I usually I usually turn those off until the live stream's over, and then I'll turn them on. Sometimes I forget. Let's see. Okay. What, what is that? Look at that thing. Mini PC stick, fanless Windows Home 11, uh, Windows 11. Oh, so you just plug that sucker in the side of a monitor. That's kind of neat. Four gigabytes memory, 128 gigabyte hard drive, mini computer stick, 2.4 and 5G Wi-Fi, two gigabit Ethernet. Hmm. Interesting. That's uh, 
It's on, yeah, 20% off right now with Prime Big Deals, so we'll put that in there too. All right. Um, let's see. Be sure the processor and RAM you purchase when many PCs, they do work, and look forward to learning Windows 11. Okay. Yeah, I, I look at processors and RAM no matter what. Um no matter what it is. Shane, what's up? Yes, we talked about EcoFlow at the very beginning. EcoFlow sent me some information a week or two ago and asked me to share it. So yeah, we shared that at the beginning. Um, I put those links. Those links, the EcoFlow links, are already in the description of uh, this chat, or of the video, rather. So you can go to the description of the video and find the EO, uh, EcoFlow links now. You can also find the link to this Prime Big Deal Days 2023 idea list that I've been adding all this stuff to. All of those links are in there right now. But I will add the other stuff that we talk about today a after the stream is over. So, okay. So let's... Um, soldering stations, someone mentioned. Millspec coax. Okay, we'll do soldering stations. All right. Duh, 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 duh. That one that we like is called Hako or Hako, however you want to say it. That's it's actually right here. You guys can't see it, but it's right there in front of me. So no Hakos or Hakos on there. On that first page anyway. But there's some stuff on there. Yihua. WEP XYK. Oh, that's a helping hands. Okay, that's a helping hands thing. Kind of neat. Don says the Intel N3000, 4000, 5000, 6000 Celerons are all 12 volt. The N305 is also 12 volt, has very good specs. N305 lab laptops, however, are 19 volt. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Those sticks have horrible performance. That doesn't that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, you put Windows on something like that. I don't think you're going to get a very good result. But so there's some uh, there's some off brand soldering station. I, I say off brand. Oh, they're okay. Kawits. We've heard of them. They had that toolkit that was going around a while back. I don't know if this is any good or not, but. I'll put it in there. I'm not familiar with all of these brands of soldering stations. I suggest Heiko. I'm just going to search and see if they're even in there. No, they're not coming up at all inside of the Big Deal Days subheader. So, yep bunch of off-brand stuff, so we'll see. Okay, coax and connectors. We talked about Mezzi and Plumi coax already with the 10% discount there. Coax. Uh, let's say 50 ohm coax. Yeah, I, th there's really kind of no telling what kind of what brand or what quality you're going to get when you get something that's not name that has no brand name on it or some brand name you've never heard of so uh i don't particularly like this off-brand coax myself but some of it's good some of it's not i mean it just kind of depends on what you get there's, there's it, it's not all terrible but so you can actually get some good stuff on amazon with coax but you got to be careful. You just you're gonna want to test it. You have a good analyzer that you can test it with. The M and P discount is right here, Bruce. Since you're asking, uh, at Gigaparts, I I have a permanent coupon now, ten percent off of all M and P and ABR coax with the coupon code of HR two cables. Uh, this will be a link I put in the description after we're done, but I, I shared it in the chat just now as well. All right, so we'll go back. Yeah, I'm not really impressed with any of this coax stuff. Ooh, Pi 5, yeah. 
Let me look for that. Uh, Xtronics is a decent brand, James says. Okay, good to know. I'm not familiar with that, but good. LMR 400, we can search for that. A lot of cheap coax claims it's LMR 400 equivalent, but again, you're getting into a brand battle there. Some of it may be good, some of it may not be good. As far as I know, Times Microwave does not sell on, uh, on Amazon. I could be wrong about that. I've never actually looked for Times Microwave on Amazon that I recall. But LMR 400 equivalent. So, yeah. Get it, test it, write a review. That's my suggestion. Let's look for um, Pi 5. A Raspberry Pi, any Raspberry Pi, really. I don't know if they have the 5 out yet. Okay. On Amazon, I mean. Pi 4. Ultimate starter. Okay, that's just stuff. That doesn't include the Pi. Let's just, wait a minute, does it? No. That's just stuff. That's accessories for the Pi. Forget that. All right. Um, Pi 4. Okay, Pi 4 with a starter kit for $132. You get all this extra junk with it. That in there. I'll, I'll find a Pi 5. I'll see if they have a Pi 5. Somebody asked me about a Pi 5 and a Sherry node the other day. The Sherry nodes are specific to Pi 3s or Pi 4s. You have to buy one specifically for a Pi 3 or a Pi 4. I've not seen the Pi 5. I don't, the Sherry node probably will not work with a Pi 5 because the Pi 5 just came out. So make sure whatever you're going to use the Pi for, that will actually work with whatever you're going to add to it. I suspect they'll eventually have a Pi 5 version of the Sherry node, but... Um, I have not seen that yet. Let's see, Pi 4, 4, Pi OS 32 micro SD card. Let's see. Again, this, uh, this idea list I'm adding to is at the top of the chat. I've got it pinned to the top of the chat. You guys go click on that, and you can see everything we talked about today. Everything we talked about today inside of Amazon, anyway. Not seeing any Pi 5 stuff. New Pi 5. I don't even know if they... Do, do they sell... Has anyone seen um, Pi 5s on Amazon at all yet? I don't think I've looked. I don't think I've looked. For, I, I looked up the Pi 5 specs when I first heard about it. I saw a YouTube video about it or something, but it, was on another, it wasn't on Amazon. It was on another website. So, yeah, not seeing anything on the Pi 5. Ta -da. Jeff says, I mentioned Gigaparts earlier. Do you have a code at RNL? I do not have a code for RNL. No, sorry about that. He has not given me one. FT. 240 cores for toroids. Uh, is that a... Toroid transfer cores... Da, 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 da. Doesn't say what the... I don't know what that is. At uh, FT85? I don't know. Okay, here we go. FT240. Okay, this one's not on Big Day Deals. Big Deals Day, I should say. 1395 for that one right there. It's just Amazon's choice. Not really... Pulled up some stuff, but not with the big deal days um, tag on it. So not really. Anyway, that's that. Okay. Pi five Pi five won't be out until October twenty third for the four gig of RAM. Looks like eight eight gig will be November. Randy uh, Rusty says. 
Yeah, I remember hearing about it. I wasn't sure if it was out yet or not. Honestly, I I don't I didn't pay much attention to it. I'm not a big I'm not a big um buyer of new things. Like when a brand new Samsung phone comes out, I don't want to buy it quite yet. I want it to be kind of You remember that a few years back when a brand new Samsung came out and they kept the batteries kept catching on fire and the airlines all banned them? Yeah, because of that. <laughs> I don't like trying new operating systems when they first come out. I don't like trying new phones when they first come out. Uh, the Pi 5, I'm going to let a lot of other people, a lot of you guys, a, uh, KM4ACK will probably test one, uh, grab one and test it. I'll watch his video. So, And then when they start making uh, all-star nodes for them, then I'll get one, and we'll do a live stream about that. But, um, yeah, that's, that's my personal opinion. Uh, let's see. PL259, okay. Let me look at that. Yeah, we're about to wrap it up. I see several people are dropping because it's a lunch hour, so I appreciate you guys being here during the day on a day. I haven't done one of these lunchtime live streams in a few weeks, and I'm kind of missing them, honestly. I'm kind of missing them. Uh, my wife and I are hitting the road going to Paladoro Canyon State Park tomorrow, so I will not be live streaming Wednesday as my normal day. That's why I'm doing this today. So here's a 10-pack of PL259 solder connectors Teflon solder connectors is a 10 pack there 20% discount so we can put that in there same thing there uh, 20 type set UHF PO259 SO239 mini UHF adapter kits that's kind of cool 20% off plus an additional 10% coupon right now. So if any of, you, any of you ever picked up Kyle's Tackle Box, this would be a perfect place to put all that stuff. Several things in there like that. Hey, Bill, thanks for being here. Note 7 Samsung product. Cause a wireless charger was on top of the lithium battery and it went boom. Well, that's, that sounds like a terrible design. That sounds like a terrible design, yeah. Uh, wouldn't buy a pie from Amazon, Hank says. Well, I, I, I bought several pies from Amazon. Um, they run sales all the time. And if you have a Prime membership, then it's kind of like, yeah, it's not a problem. But um, but that's it. So, okay, guys. Um, once again, the EcoFlow has uh, sales going on on their website and on their Amazon store page today. Those links are in the description of this video, so go check those out. The link to my idea list right here. We put 31. I, I had two items in there when the stream started. So we put, or no, I had like seven items in there. So we got 31 items in there total. I'll probably add some more tonight, maybe tomorrow morning, because again, this these are kind of rolling deals. These are going to fall on, uh, fall off and new items will appear. I will keep checking on the G90, and if I see a G90 or a 6100 go on sale for this big deal days, I will let everyone know in Discord or maybe an email. But I appreciate... I appreciate you guys following along. The link to this is in the top of the live chat right now and also is in the, the, the description of the video. And unrelated to specifically to this Amazon sale, you can always save 10% on ABR and M&P coax with the code of HR2Cables at Gigaparts. This is a brand new thing that Gigaparts just rolled out for me and my viewers, and you can save 10% on both of these types of cables. I will put that link in the description below as well. So... Thank you very much for being here today. I appreciate everyone's time out of their busy work day. Um, do look for me on POTA this week. I plan to activate Paladoro Canyon State Park tomorrow and Thursday and probably again on Friday. In fact, we might try to do... Oh, wow. Excuse me. We might try to do a late shift activation one of those nights, Wednesday or Thursday night, to where, you know, I'll make 100 contacts and the UTC day will roll over and I'll make 100 more contacts. Same people. So we'll see how that goes, but... Um, catch me there, put me on ham alert, and uh, talk to me on Discord. I'll be updating everybody on Discord. So 73 guys, thank you for using my links. They do help to support and move the channel forward. 
And I appreciate you guys being here on a uh, Tuesday afternoon lunchtime live stream. 73.